Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. In this lab experiment, we will investigate electromagnetic induction. We extend our sincere gratitude to Cambridge International Assessment Education for their invaluable contribution to the creation of this compelling video content, which promises to enlighten and inspire curious minds around the world. An electromotive force can be induced by a magnetic field. This is called electromagnetic induction which can be demonstrated using a galvanometer. A wire is connected to a galvanometer. This is a sensitive instrument capable of detecting small currents. An electromagnetic force or EMF is induced when the wire is moved through the magnetic field. This produces a current through the wire which is detected by the galvanometer. When the wire is moved in the opposite direction, the induced EMF is reversed. This causes the current to flow in the other direction. An EMF is induced due to the changing magnetic flux. A coil is formed by winding 20 turns of wire around a cardboard tube. An EMF is induced when a bar magnet is moved into the coil of wire. This produces a current through the coil of wire. No EMF is induced when the magnet is stationary within the coil. As the magnet is moved towards and away from the coil, the induced EMF alternates between positive and negative values. This time the magnet is held stationary and the coil of wire is moved over the magnet. Once more EMF is induced and produces a current. This demonstrates that it is the movement of the wire and magnetic field related to one another that causes the EMF to be induced. Any factor that affects the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage will affect the magnitude of the induced EMF. Further experiments could be carried out to investigate the effect of these. This experiment has demonstrated how an EMF can be induced due to the movement of a wire and a magnet relative to one another. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.